This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Chesapeake Eye Center. So you remember the commercial where mom's dancing through the store, the office supply store to the Christmas tune. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that commercial really sums up how a lot of parents feel after a long summer with the kids at home. Yeah, and it also reminds us there's a lot to do to get the kids prepared for the first day of school. You have to buy all of their school supplies. You have to buy their clothes and perhaps get them up to date on their vaccinations. Well, here's another thing to add to your list, an eye exam. And here's why. Five-year-old Jay Waters is excited to start kindergarten this fall. And along with getting all the back-to-school clothes, shoes, paper, and pencils, Jay's mother made sure to make her an appointment to see the eye doctor. You want to make sure your child's vision is developing normally. Fortunately, Jay's vision issues were caught earlier. And the best time to do that is have their initial eye exam sometime before preschool, around age three or four. Then we have a chance to intervene if there is a... Uh, uh, a delay in visual development or some other issue that needs to be addressed. We like to address that before around age five. Good. Dr. Smoot says there's a lot to look for in a child so young, so it takes a special approach. We make an exam fun. We play games. We try to assess a verbal vision. If they're nonverbal, we have techniques that we can use to assess if there are refractive errors such as nearsighted or farsighted. And we look at the ocular alignment, if the eyes look straight and how they're functioning, and then check the retina to make sure there's nothing to interfere with their visual development. If everything checks out, Dr. Smoot says your child can continue to get vision screenings from the pediatrician, but to keep an eye on the child as they reach the tween years. And then a lot of times when they're around age eight or nine, you may see them starting to squint, especially if both parents wear glasses. That may be an indication as they grow and develop that they're starting to have a little trouble seeing the board, and that happens real frequently around that time. But if your child is prescribed glasses at the preschool exam, Dr. Smoot says follow-up exams should be every year. Because in a child, as they grow and develop, that prescription for their glasses will change regularly. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't really stop until they're in their late teens or thereabouts. Another problem many children face is called amblyopia or lazy eye. And that means failure of their vision to develop normally. The eyes develop by seeing. And just picture your eyes like two cameras. If one of those cameras is not in focus, it won't be seeing. It's not stimulating the visual pathways in the brain to develop. So we like to detect that before around age five. The earlier the better because is what we will then do is give the eye that's not working the tools, whether it be glasses or what we need to do, to bring things into focus. And then we cover the eye that's been doing all the work and make that lazy eye do its share of the work, which will then in turn develop the visual pathways. Dr. Smoot says for some parents, getting the child to wear the glasses is a challenge in and of itself. Uh, quite often, I'll see mothers come and say, I can't get Johnny to wear his glasses. Well, you're the parent. It's time you have to encourage Johnny, make Johnny wear them because that's what's helping his vision develop. And then there's the kids who really want the glasses. Oh, the I want glasses syndrome is really common when kids back get back to school, especially um, a lot of times little girls because they become a fashion statement. So you'll see in September, they come back, their best friend got some glasses and they'll come into the office and say, I can't see anything. But then you look through our special tools and we know they can see and we tell them the drops will make them better and they do and then they're disappointed they don't get their glasses, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if your child does need glasses, both Chesapeake Eye Center locations have complete optical services so you can pick out a pair of glasses that fit your child's style. I've still got Zachary's Harry Potter glasses. Do home. you really? Throw that out there real Hang quick. on to those. We all want to look good, but you know it can be hard when you're fighting that last 15 pounds. Up next, we're going to learn more about the latest trend in fat reduction, cool sculpting, how it works, and if it's safe. Something that certainly can be helpful during the weight loss process is your smartphone. We'll share a few fun fitness apps. Don't marvel life. We'll be right back. <laughs> 